Now, where did you get the idea to come up and start doing a London's Got Talent? Well, over the years, we used to have other things at the Hilton, breakfast, lunch, but one of the volunteer that came on board says, you know what, we should do some talent show. And it's like, yeah, brainstorming, you know? Ten head is better than one, right? Absolutely. So I love ideas. I love, you know, people that love to create. So when they brought the idea to me, it's like, perfect, right? Because I watch it on TV. So that's where that came from. So I'm sitting here with the one, the only, Tiffany Chantel. Tiff, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for asking. What's up, guys? So you are not just any performer. You're a special guest performer today, according I mean. to the pamphlet. So what are you going to be doing today? What do we have in store? Okay, so today I'll be performing three of my um, singles that I'm First go at London's Got Talent, right? All right. So what are you guys going to do when you win the money? <laughs> uh, we're going to go celebrate for sure. <laughs> right. yeah. We're going to give it back to Smart to uh, contribute to us. We're going to give part of it. Yeah, we're going to give part of it back for sure. And then after that, we're going to pop bottles. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to support London establishment. Yeah. Yeah. But, but really, we want to do a music video. So I think we should put some of the money away for that. <laughs> Now tell us about your podcast. What's your podcast all about? My podcast is called Six to Five One Nine. It's about United the London and uh, Toronto rap scene, and really just giving people a platform that they wouldn't otherwise have to really just talk about their uh, musical influences and talk about um, the music they're releasing, and uh, also freestyle because we love to hear the freestyles of uh, some of the artists that come through. And um, yeah, it's all about hip hop right now and the culture. So. Because there's so many good hip hop artists in London, we thought we had to capitalize on it. So we. Let's get it. It's something to remind you. I'm searching through the stars, and I think that I have found you. Coming from above, think you're tending love. There's beauty and just know that the struggle will surround you. They will not define you. They will not define you. I'm searching through the stars, and I think that I have found you. Coming from above. Why do you think that this is such a such a great event to bring those types of organizations together? I think it's I think it's a great event first of all because young artists need a platform. They need a way to be able to get their music out there, and they're not able to go down to a, you know, to Toronto where it seems like there's always just more opportunity. Having those opportunity in the city where they grew up, it gives them that opportunity to like grow their craft, to have a place to try out their craft. Because a lot of music is like you go out, you have a performance, you realize what you didn't do well, you work on it, and you develop. So having that in a small city, they can work, develop themselves until their point where like okay, I feel like I got this, and then move to a bigger market. So having a platform to start and just it's like a playground having a playground to start your crafting is very vital for musicians and any and even athletes but it's very vital especially for musicians to have that so i'm really grateful that they have something like this going on they need more <laughs>
this is not the first time that we've run into each other. We were talking at Hoop Fest, which was another swim um, organized uh, event. So you seem to be quite involved with swim. What about their organization made you want to get so close with it? Basically, I uh, was raised from a single mother myself, and um, I also um, help out with the organization. Um, basically, it's to help empower single mothers, and I think it's an amazing cause. And um, we're here now trying to put together talent showcases for the young, talented artists that's come out of the city. That's the forest city that is, you know? How are you feeling right now? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. 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 Feeling a little less nervous now that you're now that it's kind of over with. You've sung your song. It's all good to go now. Kind of because they still have to vote. So. Oh, true. Okay. So, but they, th that's a little bit later down. So you can kind of relax, chill out for now. But uh, why did you pick Whitney Houston? Well, every time I sing it, I think of my grandma, and yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> So the SMART Scholarship, SWIM stands for Single Women in Motherhood Training Program, and SMART stands for Strong Mothers Achieving Remarkable Triumph. So basically the SMART scholarship was designed again for single mom just to basically saying, hey, we got you, you're not alone. And hopefully this little um, scholarship helps with housekeeping, childcare, books. It doesn't matter, every little bit counts. And our goal is to see that woman be successful. I got a girl crush. For anybody who wants more information on SWIM, SMART, or anything that's going on over here, where can they go to get this information? They can actually go to www.singlewomeninmotherhood.com. They can call the office at 519-432-5454 or info at singlewomeninmotherhood.com. All right. I know you're running around like crazy today, so I won't take up more of your time. Thank you so much for talking to me. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Come in. Of course. <laughs>